Hi guys, welcome back to Perfect English with Tadela. Today we're going to learn about syllabication. Syllabication is a way of breaking up a word into units of sound. Syllabication is another way of studying pronunciation. Many learners of English are confused of syllabication because they think of a word is monosyllabic if it is only short in sound and disyllabic if the word is with many or multi-syllabic or syllabless. But it's not like that, the lesson which we've got to learn for today. It's quite different and I'm going to explain you one by one with examples in a rule based. Okay, we know all vowel sounds in English A, E, I, R, N, U. So we have 21 consonant sounds in English whereas 5 vowel sounds. However, the letter U is semi-consonant and vowel sound. So we do have five vowel sound A, E, I, O, N, U. So, syllabification is based off the number of the vowel sounds in a word. It means that if there is a vowel sound in a word, it's called monosyllabic. But if there is two vowel, if there are two vowel sounds in a word, it's called disyllabic. If there are three vowel sounds in a word, it's called trisyllabic. So the number of syllables depends upon the number of the vowel sounds in the word. Syllabication is a way of breaking up a word into units of sound. This is the definition for syllabication. It's one way of studying pronunciation. Okay. Number of syllables in a word depend upon on the number of the vowel sounds in the word. For example, work. Let's count the number of the vowel sound in the word work. How many is there? W A L K. In this word, we do only one vowel sound, A, A, so the word is monosyllabic. What about this one? <coughs> sing. The same story like that of work. The verb sing does have only one vowel sound, I, so it is monosyllabic or one syllabic word. Okay, great. What about this one? This is the same story like that of work and sing because here we do only one vowel sound E so it is monosyllabic Okay, how in your mind? We said that if there is only one vowel sound in the word it's called monosyllabic or one syllabic word but there is an exception that I'm going to explain to you Okay, fine don't forget, if there is a letter E to the end of the word, it's always silent. Let's count the number of the vowel sound in the word fine. Here, one I, I, and E. However, it has two vowel sounds I and E. The letter E is, the letter e is always silent. So it is silent. So we do only one vowel sound, I, and it's monosyllabic or one syllabic. Another exception, sound if there are two vowel sounds precedingly placed in a word they are considered as one vowel sound. And for example, for example, for the word for does have two vowel sounds or any but it is considered as single or one vowel sound. As a result, it is monosyllabic word. It is a monosyllabic word. And another example, sit. So it is the same through like that of the word for, because it, because the, the the two vowels are presently placed in the same position in the word for and the word sit. Okay, so it is monosyllabic. Let's come back to disyllabic words. Magic. Let us count the number of the vowel sounds in the word magic. M A G I C A N I. So we do only two vowel sounds. As a result, it is called disyllabic or di it is called disyllabic because it is ma and j. So the syllabic for the word magic is like this ma and j. Ma and j. Magic. What about this one? Beautiful, beautiful. 
Let us count the num let let us count the number of the vowel sounds in the word beautiful. E A N U. However, the priest specifically as the exception we studied in the first point of view, as the explained in the first exception. However, there are three vowel sounds precedingly placed in the word preceding placed. It's considered as one, I, another letter, I, and another letter, y, U. Okay, beautiful. So, here we draw three vowel sounds. E, A, and U as one vowel sound and I and the last one U. So it is trisyllabic word. The syllabication for the word beautiful is written as B U B U T four. So this is the syllabication for the word beautiful. What about this one? Calculator. You can understand the number of vowel sounds as I spoke. A, U, A, N, E. So we do have four vowel sounds. And call, cool, later. Calculator. I'm just looking for your calculator. Calculator. It does a four syllabic word. Suffix and prefix are separate syllables. Okay. Suffix and prefix are separate syllables. I like And now, kindness. Here we have two vowel sounds. U N O. However, it's obvious. However, it's clear. However, it's clear. There's only two vowel sounds in the word unknown. We're talking about prefix and suffix. So the verb an is a prefix. So we're gonna celebrify this word as like this. And no. What about this one? Kindness. So this is the syllabication. This is the syllabication for the word kindness. Kindness. Okay. Kindness. Okay, another exception. If there are two double consonants in a word, break before the consonants. Break before th, sh, ch, and wh. Okay. For example, father. So, syllabication is made before the double consonant letters, th. However, there are only two vowel sounds in the word father, so it is disyllabic. The word father is disyllabic. Okay, not that. This revise what we learned. Syllabication is a way of breaking up a word into units of sound. Have in your mind the rules and the, the rules and the exceptions that we discussed. Syllabication is a way of breaking up a word into units of sound. It is one way of setting pronunciation. Or number of syllables depend upon the number of the vowel sounds in a word. If there are a vowel sound in a word, it's called monosyllabic. But if there are two vowel sounds in a word, it's called disyllabic. If there are three vowel sounds in a word, it's called trisyllabic. Okay, but there are some exceptions that you need to remind whenever making syllabication. Now remind the exceptions. If there are two precedingly placed vowel sounds in a word, they are considered as one vowel sound, like fall and sit. So it is monosyllabic or one syllabic word. And also, if the word ends up with the letter E, it's always silent. For example, fine. So the word fine does have two vowel sounds. 
it must be a disyllable. There is a silent letter e to the end of the word fine. However, it is a monosyllabic or one syllabic word. Okay, another exception. Another exception. Please make sure to make syllabication before the preceding before the double consonant letters. Syllabication is made before the double consonant letters like father, brother, weather, and the legs. Prefix and suffix are separate syllables. Prepaid and the word prepaid, pre and paid. So pre is a prefix. Pre pre is a prefix placed at the beginning of the word paid. So the prefix pre is syllabified and paid. Prepaid. It is disyllabic or tosyllabic word. Okay, in general, number of vowels depends upon the number of the vowel sounds in the word. So, syllabification is made according to the number of the vowel sounds in English. Okay, that was the lesson we are for today about syllabification. And I hope you have got very interesting and important exceptions and rules about syllabification. Please make sure to subscribe in order to get the preceding lesson and notification. Tai will bring you with another lesson. Cheerio!